in this force problem, we're going to uh, figure out what the magnitude of the force is. So this force is pushing on box C. On top of box C is box A. Box A is connected to a string, which is looped around a pulley. The string is connected to box B. So here's the constraints here. So mass A does not move relative to mass C. We're going to ignore friction. And then also mass B doesn't touch mass C. So this first part right here, this is really important. This first part is telling me that these objects have the same acceleration. So I want to keep that in mind, that they have the same acceleration. So I'm going to first, uh, I'm going to look at this problem, look at each of the in individual boxes and uh, solve for their um, acceleration first and see if we can combine them knowing that they all have the same acceleration. So if I, if I look at, actually, I'm going to start with the whole thing. If I take a look at the whole thing right now, I'm going to see that the acceleration of this whole system, if I make A, B, and C my system, uh, the acceleration will equal to the force divided by uh, the total uh, system mass. So MA plus MB plus MC. Okay, so this is simply Newton's second law. I made all three boxes my system. And so the acceleration is the force acting on my system divided by the total mass. Now I'm going to look at just A. I'm just going to look at um, box A. And I see that box A uh, has a rope that's that's pulling on it. Okay, I'm going to ignore friction. Um, I'm just looking at it because that was given to me at the beginning. Uh, so I'm just going to look at just A here. And so we have a rope pulling on it. Now the, the force pulling on A is a tension force. Now that tension force and this tension force um, is going to be the same. Okay, we're going to we're going to assume that this is a massless, uh, frictionless pulley here. Um, so it's going to be the force, which is the tension force, pulling on A. All right. So if this is my system right here. It's going to be a force divided by ma, which is my system mass. Okay. Next, I'm going to take a look at B. So B is a little bit more challenging here because here we have a, a tension force that is at an angle. So this is B. This is B, and we have a tension force here, and this tension force is at an angle. So I can break up this tension force into two parts. Um, I've got the um, horizontal uh, component and the vertical component. Okay. So we'll call this Tx, and we'll call this Ty. Now, the other force acting on B is gravity force, and we'll call that Fg. Okay. So uh, what you'll notice here is that Fg will equal... Uh, the tension for the vertical component of T of, of the tension. So these two are going to be equal. So that these two are going to be equal um, because this object is not going up and down. Okay, not accelerating up and down. All right. So this is equal to, so Fg is just uh, MBG. Okay, so this is MBG. Okay, because force of gravity is just the mass times mass times G. All right. So now that I have that, um, I'm going to take a look at You'll notice we have a triangle here, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna write this uh, T using Pythagorean theorem. Uh, Pythagorean theorem, the Tx squared plus Ty squared, which is mvg squared, is equal to T squared. Okay, so I'm just using Pythagorean theorem because I notice this is a triangle right here. Next. I'm going to apply Newton's second law to box B. So Newton's second law tells me that the acceleration is equal to the force. So I'm looking at it horizontally, Tx divided by Tx divided by the mass of B, so mb. Okay, I can rewrite this as Tx, F equals ma. Tx equals ma, mb times a. We'll come back to that in just a moment. Now I'm going to do a substitution. I notice I have a Tx and I have a Tx here. So I'm going to do a substitution. I'm going to substitute this into my Pythagorean theorem equation. So I have MBA squared plus MBG squared equals, and I have T squared. Okay. Now, T squared, um, I notice I also have T over here as well. Okay. I don't want T in my final equation. So we're going to see if we can get rid of the T um, right here. So 
I'm going to write MBA squared plus MBG squared. And then now this T is equal to, I can rewrite this T as equal, F equals MA, MAA. -A. Okay, so now over here I have MAA, -A, and then this, all of this is going to be squared, and this is going to be, right, MAA -A squared. Now what I want to do is I want to try to be able to solve for A. I want to get A by itself, so I'm going to move this A over, or I'm going to move this, this B over here. So let's go ahead and write M, B, but I'm going to put M, B, G on the left. So M, B, G left. So this is squared is equal to M, A, little a, squared minus M, B, A, squared. All right. So what I'm trying to do here, I'm trying to get the A out of this equation. Okay, so I think I can factor that out. So I have M, B, G squared. I'm going to factor out that A. So A squared times M, A squared minus M, B, M, B squared, squared. Okay, and then parentheses right there. Okay, so then A squared, I know it's really messy here. A squared is equal to, A squared is equal to M, B, g squared divided by m a squared minus m b squared okay and now i'm going to square root on both sides square root on both sides and i get a is equal to m b g because there's a square there so they get rid of that squared and then on the bottom i get m a squared minus m b squared so the that bottom side is going to be square square rooted square rooted okay all right so now that we have this we're still trying to connect this um, we're looking for the force equation so i'm going to try to connect that to this right here okay so i'm going to write this on the left hand side let me go ahead and write that on the left hand side so i have f over f over m a plus m b plus m c okay and then equal to, okay, what's the acceleration equal to? It's equal to this number right here. Okay, so I'm going to write that number right there. So that number is mbg divided by the square root ma2 minus m b ma squared minus mb squared. Okay, all right, almost there. So what we're looking for is we're solving for f. So I have f is equal to, on the right-hand side, I have mbg, okay, times ma plus mb plus mc divided by square root ma squared minus mb squared. Okay, so this is my final answer. Okay, so the key to understanding this problem is first be able to pick your system, right? Looking at the problem and be able to pick your system, whether it's all of them or individual boxes. And then also understanding that if they're not moving relative to each other, then they're going to have the same acceleration. And then also understanding that this tension force is at an angle. And then we were able to use Pythagorean theorem to relate the different sides of the triangle. And then finally, we were able to connect the acceleration equations to each other, and then solve for the force.